This conference will now be recorded. I'd like to call the uh, Board of Assessment Appeals regular virtual meeting for the Grand List October 1st, 2020, Monday, March 8th, 2021, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. time frame. Uh, the meeting will be called to order. We're going to please say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, stands one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Chairman, your microphone is off. Chairman, your microphone is off, sir. I'm not hearing you. Sorry about that. Okay, let me start over. So we're starting tonight with the Board of Assessment Appeals, a uh, regular virtual meeting for the Grand List October 1st, 2020. Today is Monday, March 8th, 2021. And uh, um, call the order. Uh, we did the Pledge of Allegiance. The attendance tonight will be Mr. Shelby Jackson, Assessor, Mr. Carl Bonamico, Member, Mr. Robert Avery, Member, Mr. Tom Vitale, Chairman, Ms. Shelley Hemingway, Recording Secretary. Item number four, approval of minutes from the September uh, meeting. We all had that in our package tonight. Uh, can I hear a motion? Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, item five is the consent agenda. We're not there. I take it, Mr. Jackson? Not yet. There's no consent agenda for tonight's meeting, sir. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with our appeal and the first appeal we have this evening uh, is Deborah Gardenez. That is appeal number 2020-177. Swear uh, the both of you in, and if you uh, uh, raise your right hand and just agree, it'll be recorded. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. Please, please unmute your, yourself. So, Mrs. Gutenberg, would you please turn Deborah. on your microphone and your video if you have such? Deborah. Uh, they just. They just left. They just left the meeting. So I'm, I'm going to send them a chat message. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> So they'll be back, so. Caller three. 
please identify yourself. Mr. and Mrs. Gutierrez, would you please turn on your microphone and turn on your video if you have one? Yep, nope, there they are. Has left. All right. Okay, let's let's um, let's move on to the second. Uh, Okay, we're going to move on to hearing number 2020-174, Helene Bush. Please unmute yourself, Helene. Okay, thank you. So I'm going Hello. to, okay. yes, I'm going to swear uh, you in. Wait, this is Deborah Godinez. Can you hear me now? Yeah, are you, we, we, we moved on. Can we come back to you then? Can you just Sure, I had a call from a different phone. For some reason, the other one just kept muting me. Okay, we're going to come back to you. Um, okay, no problem. We moved on to Helene. Just, just hold on. Helene, okay, I'm going to swear next person you in. Because they didn't hear me. Yeah. Uh, okay, I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. I. I hear, oh, I have to repeat that? No, you just have to say, I do. I do. Okay, so you've been sworn in, and uh, so we're talking about here your 2006 Honda, Honda, Honda Accord. Yes, sir. And uh, mileage 69,000. You have a market yes. value of $3,000. Car has a lot of body damage. Yes, it does. Okay, so we are currently um, we are currently, Mr. Jackson, at four thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. That's correct, Mr. Chairman. That's the market value. That's the market value, which is a assessed value of three thousand four hundred seventy dollars. Um, okay. <laughs> So you're at you're at three thousand dollars. How did you derive three thousand dollar value? Um. Well, it's like I said, it's got a lot of uh, body damage on the car, and um, I guess that's how I arrived at that. You know, that's how you that's how you arrived at that. Um, well, yeah. No photos. Um, yeah, I have photos. Yeah, I have photos. I brought them last uh, last time we met in person. I brought the photos. Oh, so you you have already uh, done this once? Yes. Okay. So, do you have the paperwork from that time that said uh, what we reduced the market value to? Yeah, could you hold on, honey? Sure. <sighs> Mr. Jackson, we don't we don't have a record of that, right? That what we reduced it to, or do we? We have only what was submitted for this appeal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see, original assessment. Uh, the original assessment was 2,470. Hello? Yes, I'm, yep. Yeah, that and then 2019 assessment. assessment, 2,450. Assessed value. Yes. <clears throat> Okay. 
So the market value then we we put it at a at thirty five hundred dollars. Uh, okay. I guess right now it's let's say. Wait a minute. Three thousand four hundred and seventy. Was the market value? Okay. Yeah, I got an exemption for a thousand dollars. Okay. And then they did an adjustment, uh, $1,020. Okay. So we've been through this once before, and that was in 2019? Yes, sir. Yeah. Do I hear any motions from the board? I make a motion uh, to reduce the market value to three thousand dollars <laughs> all in favor Aye. Aye. okay so we're gonna um mr jackson you would like this in um assessed value for the pro personal property mr chairman you can do it either way as long as you try to be consistent Whatever you, if you want to specify both, it's up to you. Bear in mind, if you give me 3,000 market value, we're going to go 70% of that, and then we're going to round it off. Okay. Uh, board members, would you like to just stay with market value? That's fine. Okay. Bob? Okay, so um, for the board's unanimous decision, Market value will be three thousand dollars. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. You'll be okay. you'll be getting paperwork from from the okay. town. Uh, do I still get the um? I forgot what to call that. No. Oh shoot. Still get the exemption. It will be deducted from the final uh, determination of the board. So the board will reduce no, your don't. value, and then you'll get a, a secondary reduction based on your exemption. Oh, okay. Will they send this to me in the mail, sir? Or? Yes. Within the next week or two, you'll receive a written notification of the decision to do this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 So we are now going to go back to hearing number 2020-177, Deborah and Margarito um, Gananez. Uh, Deborah, uh, please unmute yourself. Hello. Oh, thank you. Hello? Yes, thank you. We have you. So okay. I'm going to... This thing uh, randomly mutes you when it feels like it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm the only one on the phone because I'm actually using a traditional house phone. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna swear you in, all right? Sure. So I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. It is. Thank you. Okay. So you have a 2005 GMC Sierra, 183,000 miles. Uh, you place a market value of 900 to $1,000 on it. The truck is two-wheel drive. Yeah. We only use it as a yard truck. It is all beat up. We paid $700 for it. Okay. Yep. So, the people who owned it before me were drug addicts who returned metal. So there's dents and scratches all over it. I sent some pictures. They don't do it justice, but that's what it looks like. I mean, it's honestly not worth. Yeah, we have we have what the pictures. We all think it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we do go by the NADA values. So the the NADA values. Um, Um, no 
Okay, Shelby, we got 57.80. That's is that uh, assessed or, or um, that's the assessed value that that we have. 780 is assessed value, Mr. Chairman. We show in good shape. Uh, the average retail would normally be between 82 and 9200. The vehicle were, you know, uh, condition. Okay, you broke up a little bit. What 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 was the market value based upon? Again, well, the market value is eighty two fifty seven. Okay. Um. So we got one hundred and fifty dollars off for mileage. What year is it? 2000. You have you have not come before us before us before. Um, no. Okay. All right. I didn't know if you were. Do you have to do it every year? If you get a reduction here, yes, you would have to come every year because. Oh. Okay. They uh, some. You can also come in September on Saturday mornings and uh, bring the vehicle. We have this meeting. Um, in the lower lobby so we can go outside and look at vehicles. Uh, oh, that'd be better. <laughs> yeah, the pictures, I, I mean, you can kind of tell and can kind of see. Um, yeah, up up close and personal might be. You know. Yeah, because I think the guy who owned it weighed like 400 pounds and like destroyed the interior. Like it's everything is like he took real door hin like hinges from like a door and used them to put that cover in the middle down. You know, like the storage container. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he broke the seats. The wires are hanging out for the door. It's a mess. Um, yeah, so seeing it in person, that just is better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I, my husband threatens my daughter that he's going to pick her up in it. <laughs> so to, <laughs> that's worth the price of, of, of the truck then. It is, right? <laughs> He said, come on, I'll give you a ride. We could take my truck. No, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> okay. That's something when your kids don't even want to get in it. He said, we got to go back again next year. Why? He said it because you got to do it every year if they give you a reduction. Oh. He said, but they have it on Saturdays and you can park the truck outside. They can actually come and look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's better. Mm. Okay, I, uh, you know, based upon what you're saying, somewhat of the pictures, um, a little bit of the mileage condition, um, do I hear anything from uh, members of the board? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to reduce the market value to $4,000. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so you'll be notified in mail about the reduction. And uh, again, you'll have to come every year. So for you, it would be, the best thing would be September of, shall we get 2022? Is that when, is that when okay, they would? Okay, so I'll put it in my calendar, September 2022 on a Saturday. Yes. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, great. Thank you so okay. much. All right. Yep. Have a nice night. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Moving on to Mr. Michael Glidden.
Mr. Glidden, unmute yourself. Hi, Mr. Vitale. Hello, Mr. Glidden. How are you? How are you? Good. Good. Nice to see you. Nice seeing you too. Nice seeing you too, Mr. Avery. <laughs> We're going to swear you in, all right? I do. So I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. I do. You do. So you have a 2005 Subaru Outback, 225,000 miles. I'm actually at 227 right now. Okay, so Kelly Blue Book value for the car is $399. Assessed value exceeds reasonable resale. We have the vehicle at uh, 3190 assessed value. Mm -hmm. Minus four hundred dollars. We got three thousand dollars assessed at three thousand and ten dollars assessed value. You had a uh, four hundred dollar credit off of the market value, which was forty seven hundred, which brings it down to forty three hundred and creates an assessed value of three thousand and ten dollars. Yeah, I mean, like I said, my, the, my big thing is just, you know, obviously the sale price, I understand the difference in sale price. I, I can never get that for this vehicle. It's And, and I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's in decent shape, uh, unlike others you probably heard from tonight and their their tale of woe on, on, on the uh, condition of the vehicle. The, condi the vehicle's in, in decent shape. However, um, one of the things I did was, in addition to looking at Kelly Blue Book, I went over to the Meriden Hyundai to see if I were to trade it in, what can I get? And they stuck with, you know, $300, $399 is the max that they would entertain. Or or I think I think what Todd told me was, uh, the uh, Todd money in was, uh, I'd give you the minimum what our dealership would be $500. But still, I mean, it's there's a big difference. Do you drive at the Simsbury every day? Uh, I was, but right now I've been, we've been remote uh, for the bulk of the week. So I've cut down at least on some of my driving with that. Otherwise, I'd probably be close to 250 right now on my mileage. Okay. Well, Kelly Blue Book always seems to be really out of whack because I used it myself and, and it just seems to be out of whack compared to NADA. So, um <clears throat> You know, you want privacy? Go to the office. I go to the garbage. I have to. Uh, do I hear any suggestions from board members? Mr. Chairman, I make a, a motion to reduce the market ma uh, value to two, $2,000. All in, I hear a second on that. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have, Have a good night. Evening. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Shelly, is this coming through for you okay? Um, are we giving you all the information that you normally need? Yes, you're doing an excellent job. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. So we might as well. Um, okay. Uh, the next hearing, 2020-171, Tom Vitale, 2016 Jeep Cherokee. Um, this is my second time through, so um, whatever, whatever, whatever you have there, market value less the mileage is, is, you know. I don't think I hit the mark right with the uh, market value. 
but uh, if you want, Mr. Chairman, do you have for uh, mileage uh, one? Uh, I mean, minus one fifty six six seventy nine. It, it, it maybe a little bit more than that, but it's Bear with me, Mr. Bonamigo. I'm just going to double check my calculations here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we show um, a full market value of 19,000. The reduction of. Did you say 19,000? Hang on, let me do that again. Yeah, I, here it says market value of 20,000. 20, right, right. I just. Um, Taking the assessment, it's reflected on your account, 13,880. Dividing that by 70% it gives me a market value of $19,828. I'm losing I'm losing the audio here. Yeah. Oh boy, you know what's going on here? Is that better or no? It's better. Yeah, better when you, just now. Okay. okay, so I'm showing a market value of 19,830. The mileage adjustment would be 3950. Say that number again, I'm sorry. 3950. 3950. 3, which brings the market value to 15880. Okay. And Tom, what did you say? You, you you're you're uh, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. I make a motion to reduce the market value to fifteen thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Okay. What do we got next? Nobody, huh? You guys can't hear me that well. My microphone is not working too well. Sometimes you drift. You drift off for some reason. Yeah, when you like right now when you spoke, it it was great. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look at the microphone up there when I do that. I try to be more attentive. I'm sorry. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, not too bad. As long as we're covering all the legal basis for everything, Fine. I think so. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yep. Were these people scheduled like six to seven, seven to eight? Is that how? I'm going to let Shelly chime in on that. Yes, yeah, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine. Okay. Okay, so that's why we got to that nobody's on um okay so really we have a half an hour of uh, um oh we only had three people scheduled for six to seven one one two three four four And the eight to nine is the same guy, right? So, or uh, one, one plus garden homes, all the garden homes. We have one at eight o'clock tonight. We have um, 
two different people at Ada. One has quite a a list. Do you see that in the uh, the package? You don't really see package while yeah. you're you you do. I, yeah, I can see the package. I I just yeah. I just hold, hold, to... hold on a minute. I got somebody calling me. Hold on. I'm going to try calling some of these other people and tell them to, to call in, okay? That's a good idea.
Yeah, I'm going on. Hello? Hello, caller number five. Your name is? Jennifer Thomas. Jennifer Thomas, Evolve Nutrition, LLC. Yes. Okay, let me uh, find your appeal. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Appeal number, uh, we all set? Okay. Yes. Hearing number 2020-161, Jennifer Thomas. I'm going to swear you in. Okay. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. Yes. Okay. And Evolved Nutrition LLC, uh, you've placed the market value of $1,840. Moved out of office into home office because the pandemic gave away most of office property. All right, let's just see something. Here. Mr. Jackson, I see your paperwork, 100% assessment. Uh, is what? Let's just make sure I'm looking at the right thing. So we assessed it. Sorry, go ahead, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, Jennifer. Oh, no, I was just going to say I had a, because uh, I had filled it out there and I had a copy of it. I'm just trying to find it. Hello. Okay. What, uh, Mr. Jackson, what, what do you have as a uh, uh, market value for the property here? Okay, so Mr. Chairman, there was no declaration filed. We assessed it at twenty-eight eighty. Um, since then, she's filed a declaration informing us of, of the move and so forth. Our recommendation is to reduce the twenty-eight eighty down to thirteen twenty-five. As market value, or that is the assessed value, sir. So thirteen eighty eighty. Thirteen twenty-five. Yeah, I keep you keep breaking up. So thirteen hundred and twenty five dollars, thirteen hundred and twenty five. Which gives it a market value of eighteen hundred and ninety two dollars. And she's currently at a uh, market value of eighteen hundred and forty dollars. So. As of your records, market value in the town hall is $1,892. That's what she would be assessed on and taxed on 70% of that value. Is that correct? Correct. So we'd round that off to $1,890. Do you understand that? Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing um, <clears throat> both connections. Both connections. Okay. So the town has it right now. They've, they've placed the market value of $1,890 on those items. You're And you're saying you're at $1,840. Okay. So oh, your, okay. your assessed amount would be 70% of that. You would be thirteen hundred and twenty-three dollars in assessed value. But their 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 market value and your market value are fifty dollars apart. So Okay. Do it I sounds hear? like I owe more than I thought. <laughs> well you only owe I just, you owe uh what's the mill rate, Shelby now? Um 29.19, and that's anticipated to be adjusted slightly downward, hopefully. 
So that's what, $38, $38 in taxes? Okay. okay. Sounds about right. Sounds about right, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Do I hear a motion? Repeat that. I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Okay. So um, currently, the town has a market value of one thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars. She has a market value of one thousand eight hundred and forty dollars. So we're Which at eighteen hundred and ninety her assessed value is one thousand three hundred and twenty three dollars, approximately thirty eight dollars in taxes for the year. So uh, I'll make a motion to reduce the market uh, to put the market value down to eight one thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, Jennifer, they'll they'll send you the paperwork. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, we've got a couple of other callers uh, that have called in. To, to see where you want to find out who caller six and seven are? Um, six and seven, we want to find out. Yes. Please identify yourself, caller six and caller seven. My name is Sam Sharif on behalf of Sam and Sonia LLC. Okay. And that was number, and you were caller seven, I assume. I'm not really sure what, what caller number I was. I just announced my name. But yeah. Okay. Caller six. Uh, SCO is, um, I'm not sure. Brian Daly, you're here to. I'm here on behalf of Garden Homes. Are you on Garden Homes? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, we're, we're going to. Um, Let me let me take because you were you weren't really scheduled till about eight, but but I know we're way ahead. So let me let me take this sham um Sam Sharif. Yes. Um so let me find his um while you're doing that, Mr. Chairman, I'm gonna ask the other caller to identify himself, caller number six. Yes. Okay, Michael Schoff, S-C-H-O-F-F. -F. Thank you, sir. Okay, hearing number 2020-179, Property owner, Sam Sharif, uh, Arles and Boggs Vegan, vegan Eatery. Uh, I'm going to swear you in. Yes. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. I do. Okay. And you have placed a market value of $26,800 on the equipment. Uh, well, actually, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, that that on the equipment at the uh, uh, at the restaurant. Okay. Go ahead, you, please. Well, uh, okay. On, I spoke to my CPA, and he did my taxes for this year because the equipment that we bought it was dents and uh, bends and dents. So it was like at eleven thousand dollars for some refrigeration. We bought a container for six hundred dollars. The rest of the furniture that we bought and renovated was bought from uh, uh, Goodwill, if you will, you know, to give the place, you know, an old feel and what have you. Now, on my tax return for the federal balance sheet summary 
for Sam and Sonia that was done by David Dave Lake Financials. I'm looking at it right now as we speak, and I see a category here where it says ending assets. It says building and other assets, $41,034. So is this like what he filed for for the taxes for the federal or is that what he assessed as far as equipment however the equipment that we bought like i said it was dense it was new but it was dense like it has a little dent a little bang and the whole entire furniture that we bought was from uh, goodwill and i don't think it's it's worth what the assessor put in <laughs> you know but that's what I valued. The furniture is the one I filed on the taxes for 2020, where, again, where it says building and other assets, 41034 Now, I'm not really sure what buildings and other assets mean. Okay, so let me, let me jump ahead. Um, yes. This was reviewed uh, by... Um, Rhonda Caswell, um, who is appraiser for the town of Wallingford. Okay. Uh, the current assessed value is 58,600. Appellant's estimate of market value, 26,800. Yes. Um, did not file 2019 current assessment based on estimate plus penalty. File 2020 declaration would appeal $14,810 assessment. Mr. Jackson, did you see her recommendations? Um, May I say something real quick, if, if, you, if you guys don't mind? <clears throat> May I? Yeah, oh, yes, please do. Well, a, I'm new in business as far as running my own. We having financial, we've had financial difficulties and we're struggling to stay in business. The only thing that kept us in business really is the payroll protection program. And I asked the assessor and the committee to reassess the value of the furniture and the equipment and they are more than welcome to come in and visit. Uh, that's all I have to say, but yeah. it's your decision. It's your guys' decision, and I'm, I'm. And I think we, I think uh, the town's assessor's office has already done that. So, I, I just want to confer with Mr. Jackson, the town assessor. Oh, sure, Ab absolutely. Thank Those you. recommendations from Rhonda. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'm finding there's a couple of math errors on both sides of the equation here. I think the Assessment should be somewhere around twenty-three thousand four hundred fifty. <clears throat> um, so let me walk you through that. Um, the appellant's estimate of value, market value, is twenty-six eight hundred. Are you hearing me? Okay. I, I am correct. So twenty-six thousand eight hundred is the appellant's estimate of market value. Seventy percent of that figure would be 18,760 assessed to which we would apply a penalty for non-filing, bringing the total to $23,450 assessed value, which is really quite a big a, amount of relief uh, compared to what we had originally assessed. Correct, so the market value, um, Again, again, what was your addition there? 23. So I'm taking the appellant's estimate of market value at 26,800. 26, Assessment is 70% of that. And then I'm multiplying that by 1.25 to include a penalty for not filing for a total assessed value of 23,450 and that's my recommendation Mr. Chairman. That's the amount of money that he would be taxed on. Yes sir. Okay. Now, 
you also understand because you did not file or you filed late that there's a 25 percent penalty that has been placed on this and that is a state statute um so that's that's why there's an additional amount of money um uh in in the equation once right. once you catch up and you you do your work you know uh <laughs> lesson learned I yeah mean, you know, yeah absolutely okay so i think um i think we've we've done some adjusting and and what have you and and uh uh i i think i can go to the board and 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 get a recommendation on on this for you do i hear any motions from the other members uh mr chairman i make a motion to reduce the market value to thirty three thousand five hundred dollars second all in favor aye okay so we brought it down uh quite a bit based upon your declaration. But like I say, there's some penalty in there because um, that's state statute that if, if you don't file or you file late, that, uh, okay, so you're a little, your your market value was 26.8, we're at 33.5 um, with a little bit of penalty. Okay, you'll be notified in mail about the changes in uh, next year you know um come oh, back, yeah come back in the penalty will be cleared and you'll you'll probably be closer to that market value number okay all righty all right thank you all you all bye. have a nice evening thank you bye-bye bye-bye okay um we're going to go to uh Michael Schaff, <clears throat> so let me find your. Hey. Got a backup. It was scheduled for seven o'clock, sir. Correct. No, we're, well, as soon as I find you in my packet here, I. Okay, fine, sir. I just wanted to make sure you heard me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, I heard you. You'll, you're next. Let me just find you before I. Fine, sir. I get going. Okay, hearing number 2020-183, Michael Schaff, 101, 1012 Clintonville Road, Wallingford. Um, let me swear you in. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. I do. Okay. So... Uh, no business or personal property stored at this address. That's correct. I, uh, Rhonda said they picked this up because I own a dealer plate, which uh, they assumed it was addressed in Wellingford. I own a dealer plate, but it's not a dealer plate. It's actually called a transporter plate. <clears throat> and I, my business is in North Haven at... Uh, uh, 99 through 111 Scrub Oak Road. I own La Mirage. All of my business equipment is there. I don't have any business equipment. I own the property at uh, 1012 Clintonville Road, but I don't have any business going on there. Where is the uh, transport plate registered to? It's uh, registered in... Town 101, which is North Haven. Your town is 148, I'm sure you know. That's where it's registered, sir. That's what it says right on the registration, Town 101. Mr. Jackson. Um... That's what uh, that's what that nice young lady there, Rhonda, told me. She said, that, well, it was too late to change it. She wanted to let the hearing go through anyway and explain it to the uh, to the board. Chairman, the information I have is that the dealer plate is listed at the Clintonville Wallingford address. That is 
Not correct, sir. And I'm, I'm glad to give you documentation on that. It's Town 101. And, you know, at uh, 10 years ago, it was registered at uh, 99 Scrub Oak Road, but it's never been anywhere but uh, uh, North Haven. And that was uh, North Haven. We own some property in Wallingford, which is attached to our North Haven property. At the time, uh, our insurance agent said since it's it has both Wallingford and North Haven address. Uh, it's cheaper to register in Wallingford. That was about 15 years ago. I've owned a dealer plate for about 30 years. It's not a dealer plate, sir. It's a transporter plate. It's a completely different thing. So we understand that a repair plate, a transporter dealer. They're all various types. We show it as being listed in Wallingford. This hearing, not- Mr. Chairman, was was the gentleman's opportunity to provide documentation to the contrary. I can only go based on what I have in front of me. Well, I, I, I told Rhonda, and she says, just explain that to the board. I'm glad to, I'll fax it to you right now, sir, if you want. That would be something that we could also consider. I mean, it's 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 something you've accused me of. You've got to give me documentation that's true. But I have it, sir, right in front of me. If you like, I'll fax it to you right now, sir. Um, I mean, it's, you don't pick up people well, off a list. You got to show something there, sir. I, and please, I'm not trying to be a wise guy. No, so can you put it in front of the camera? Uh, I don't have a camera, sir. You're not. You're not. A, no, I'm, I'm on a telephone, sir. You're on a telephone. Yes, sir. I can email uh, it to you. I can do anything you want. Uh, but it's it's 101 Scrub, excuse, Scrub Oak Road, North Haven. And that's where it's been for the last 15 years. So I don't is, have any what idea. Is the, what is the actual document that you have? The, the Would be what? The registration for the plate? Yes, sir. I have the registration. Um, Are you capable of getting us a copy this evening of it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So, um, if, if you would have said you wanted a, a copy of the registration, I, I, uh, I would have gladly done that. She says, just explain it to the board. Well. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it is, no, you can't fool around with it. It's, it, 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 that's what the tax town is. It's 101. It says okay. it right on it. I, I, um, I ask a question, Mr. Chairman. Please, Mr. Jackson, you want to ask a question? Please. Uh, uh, yeah, through the, through the chair, of course. Is, is, the, uh, is the appellant paying an assessment in North Haven on this plate? Is that what? Is that his testimony? Is his testimony that he's paying an assessment in to the town of North Haven on this on this on this plate? There is no assessment on a plate, sir, because it's not attached to a vehicle. You cannot. We, this was ten or fifteen years ago. We went through this that you can't assess a plate because it's not attached to a physical thing, sir. We assess all plate, all those dealer plates. We we assign an average. But it's assessment not a to dealer each plate, sir. It's not a dealer, dealer plate. Dealer plate, repair plate, transport plate, etc. Do you pay any value, assess value to the town of North Haven? Oh, we certainly do. So I own La Mirage, which is a a multi-million dollar facility in North Haven. If you're not familiar with it, it's a big, big banquet place. But you pay assessed value on this plate to the town of North Haven. Well, I'm not even sure of that, but uh, I, I, have, I, I list all of my assets with the town of North Haven depreciable assets. Yes. Okay. I, I don't do business in Wallingford, sir. I don't do business in Wallingford, and uh, well, it's not, it's right not, according to your your uh, brochure you send, it is. Tools, machinery, non-registered motor vehicles, mobile storage buildings, any other equipment, business that makes money. I don't use this plate for making money. I, only, I, I, move, I am I'm, going to request you send me a copy of it then. Of what? The plate? Registration. The plate with the tax number on it. The, a copy of the registration, not the copy yes, of the sir. plate. 
Absolutely. Yeah, that's not a copy to play. I understand that. You send that to me by 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, now, how do, what, where do you have me want to send this? Email it to my personal email. Okay, what is that, sir? T V I T. Wait a minute. T is in Tom? T is in Tom. V I T. V V is in Victor. I P is in Peter? No, T is in Tom. Okay, in other words. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I want to get it right, sir. I'm sorry. No problem. T is in Tom. V is in Victor. What is the next one? I. Yes, sir. T. As in Tom. Yep. A. Yes, sir. L. Yes, sir. I. Yes, sir. At S N E T. Dot net. Okay. Okay. You send that. You send that to me, and then call back, uh, and we'll we'll go we'll go we'll continue this. Right. Okay. Very good, sir. I'll do that. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> okay. So. Um, Stonehead Sound, Aaron Stone. Good evening. Good evening. So hold on, let me uh, let me just find you here and uh, we'll continue on. Okay, hearing number twenty twenty dash one eighty two. Stonehead. Sound, Aaron Stone, I'm going to swear you in. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. I do. Okay. Uh, you have placed a market value on your equipment of $20,000. Due to the COVID pandemic, my business has been shut down since March 14, 2020. These assets have made me... Uh, no income since. I don't know. I, I, yeah, that's, that's try correct. Try a couple seeing a little bit of that. Okay, so um, current assessed value is thirty-one thousand. You claim market value of twenty thousand, which is fourteen thousand assessed. Uh, did not file twenty twenty declaration. Equipment has value regardless of usage. Um, and you probably have some now penalty in there. Correct. Correct. I, okay. I did, uh, per, per request of the assessor's office, um, uh, late last week, I did drop off, uh, the assessor's report for 2020 and, um, you know, th what I came up with the assessed value on there was, uh, was uh, twenty one thousand? Uh, geez, off the top, of my head, it was like twenty one thousand four hundred dollars, somewhere in that range. Uh, now, be, be just you said assessed value. You're saying assessed value or oh, market value? Whatever I well, whatever the end result of the of the number on the assessor's report would be. Okay, so. The assessor says thirty-one thousand in assessed value, and you're saying, "Oh, that was with the penalty." Yes, that was with the penalty. That's what that was. No, nope. my my concern was that uh, initially I did not receive the assessor's report in the mail last October, whereas every year prior to that, I always did. Um, th that's why I didn't file it. Now, when I got the letter in the mail that they had, that there was a penalty and that they had assessed, you know, they had determined the assessment themselves, uh, you know, I went down to the assessor's office and uh, the lady there that I talked to explained to me that um, that you, you could actually print the 
uh, form out online. I, I had no knowledge of that. So, uh, so she told me that when I file the appeal to provide a copy, you know, to fill it out and, and, and give it, turn it in, so, which, which is what I did. And that would have been on, uh, I guess, Thursday of last week. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Jackson, so I, I'm looking at the paperwork here and I see um, $35,357 as the assessed or at the, or as the uh, market value, assessed value of $24,750. The $62,20 is the penalty, correct? Is that? That one, I'm assuming. I, I believe so. Yes. Right. Okay. That's for that's for Mr. Jackson. Um, oh. On the personal property declaration details report. Yes. Okay. So, so you're with me, Mr. Chairman. Because if you take what the gentleman filed, numbers don't match up. He's carrying over assessment on, the, on page three. It's supposed to be a net depreciated value. Um, he declared $30,500 in assets. Actually, $30,487 to that net depreciated or otherwise known as market value. 70% uh, of that would be an assessment of 21,340. So none, none of these numbers match up. The, the, the filing is incorrect. It was never filed properly. And now even the late filing doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to reconcile properly. And if you look at the summary sheet, so you'll see the 100% assessment on one column. If you add those all up, I can do it for you. So you got 35, 357. <laughs> Total forty-four thousand four forty-three, and seventy percent of that would be an assessment of thirty-one thousand one hundred and ten. So that's what our estimates were based on, since we did not get the declaration. Um, okay, now that we have the, the, the declaration. Now that we have the declaration, if you turn to the declaration on page Three. Two, two, okay. Under code 16, furniture fixtures and equipment, his original cost of 52,000, then depreciated down to 30,294. Add to that code 20, data processing equipment or computer equipment, 913 at 20%, $183, average monthly supplies of $10, for a total of 30,487 net depreciated value or as the board often calls it the market value, 70% of that is an assessed value of 21,340. Okay. That would be based upon the, the, the actual filing of the applicant. Okay. And then what about the penalty? Um, then the penalty would be in addition to that, correct. 
for a total of twenty six thousand six eighty. And that's right from the, the the filing declaration. That's what the gentleman filed with us. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's your actual filing plus the penalty because of of the uh, missed filing. Um, So do you, do you understand where we're at right now? Yes, yes, I do. Your assessed, your assessed value, what we will be taxed at, is twenty six six eighty from your okay. from your paperwork. Um, okay. Do I do I hear a motion from the board? Make a motion to move the assessed value to twenty six thousand six eighty. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So let's, I'm gonna, while we're here, 26680 um, is, is uh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna convert it to uh, market value of $38,100, we'll call it, 38. Well, it's 38114. Okay. So the mo the motion is to change uh, the market value to 38114 based upon that assessed value. Okay, you'll receive some paperwork from us next year. The penalty, uh, you know, as long as you file on time, that, that number will come off of this. We can't change penalty that's a state statute uh if it's not filed in time um that 25 percent gets added to the uh, value of the uh, assessment so understood okay thank you for your time thank you gentlemen have a good evening bye-bye bye-bye Okay, Mr. Daly, um, thank you for waiting. No problem. Okay, so let's. Uh, find you here. <laughs> there are 10, I believe they end in 005 through 14 on your. Uh, hearing numbers. Oh, five through 14. That helps. Okay. So I think, let me just make sure we're starting with that. Okay, so hearing number 2020-012. Garden Homes Management Corporation, Brian Daly. I'm going to swear you in. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. So swear. Okay. So So we're going to start with 2020-012 which is 75 yields. Five, I don't know how you go by 20, 75 Yellsville Square, PID 135783. Mr. Chairman, may I? Yes, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. If I can just give a quick overview. Uh, Mr. Daly and I had a pretty extensive discussion uh, last week. We went through all of these properties along with our property appraiser, Ian Fuller. We really looked at all the detail and we've come to a consensus on the values for all 10 of these. They're 
uh, three that are there we're recommending no change and then the rest we're recommending a change we can ask mr daly if he's in agreement with these i've issued a memo to the board um and if if you if it would please the board you could go one by one make your motions and uh, but we just want to make sure that mr daly uh, has the opportunity to express you know whether or not he agrees to these uh you know these new adjustments okay so the memo is in the packet here about the changes per each unit Yes, and I can read them one by one if that would make it easier for the board. Okay, why don't, why don't you do that, and we'll start with the hearing number. Is that how we'll identify each one? You start with the hearing number, and I'll call it by its address. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so, Mr. Daly, you've been sworn in for all um, appeals. So we're going to start with 2020-012. Twenty twenty dash oh one two, Mr. Chairman, is seventy five Yalesville Square. The assessor's office is recommending a reduction in market value to eighty thousand dollars. Do I hear a motion from the board? Make a motion to reduce. Uh, uh, hearing number 2020-012 to $80,000. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Market value change. Correct. Okay. So let's, let me just find the next one so I can follow along here. In the I'm sorry, I just joined the meeting. I was I had a hard time getting on my computer, but I have a you are Charlene? Yes. Okay, so mute yourself and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we finish up here. Thank you. Okay. All right, so the next one per the list is 2020-010, 53 Yaleville Square. Correct? Yes, Mr. Chairman, number 53 okay. Yalesville Square, we're recommending market value of $55,000. And of course, check with Mr. Daly that we're all in agreement. We're in agreement? We're in agreement. Okay, do I hear a motion? Make a motion for hearing number 2020-010 to put the market value to $55,000. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Let's get to the next one. Okay, hearing number 2020-011, 64 Yalesville Square. 64 Yalesville Square, Mr. Chairman. The assessor's office is recommending a market value of $56,900. Mr. Daly, are you in agreement? We are. If I hear a motion. Make a motion for hearing number 2020-011 to place the market value at $56,900. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Hearing number 2020-013. 77 Yalesville Square. Mr. Jackson. 77 Yalesville Square, Mr. Chairman. The assessor's office is recommending a market value of $58,000. And we are in agreement with that as well. So I hear a motion from the board. Make a motion to place the market value at 77 Yalesville Square at $58,000. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. Um, hearing number 2020-005, 18 Yalesville Square. Mr. Jackson. 
Number 18, Yalesville Square, Mr. Chairman, the assessor's office is recommending a market value of $95,000. And we are in agreement. We're in agreement. I hear a motion. Make a motion for hearing number 2020-005-18 Yalesville Square to place a market value of $95,000. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm sorry, second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, hearing number 2020-009-49 Yalesville Square. Jackson. Mr. Chairman, 49 Yalesville Square, the assessor's office is recommending market value of $47,500. We are in agreement. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion for hearing number 2020-009-49 Yieldville Square, place market value at $47,500. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Hearing number 2020-007, 19 Yalesville Square. Mr. Jackson. Number 19, Yalesville Square. Mr. Chairman, the uh, assessor's office is recommending no change and sustaining the value of the market value at $59,400. Mr. Daly. We, we accept that outcome. We're in agreement. Okay. Do we have a motion from the board? Make a motion for hearing number 2020-007, 19 Yalesville Square, market value, no change, and sustaining at $59,400. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Hearing number 2020-006, 12 Yalesville Square. Mr. Chairman, the 12 Yalesville Square, the assessor's office is recommending no change, sustaining the market value at $60,900. Mr. Daly, we're in agreement. I hear a motion from the board. Make a motion. <laughs> Hearing number 2020-006, 12 Yalesville Square, to place a market value, no change, $60,900. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Hearing number 2020-014-5A, Yalesville Square. Number 5A, Yalesville Square, Mr. Chairman, the assessor's office recommends a reduction and to fix the market value at $62,600. Daly? We are in agreement. Make a motion. Make a motion for hearing number 2020-014-458 Yalesville Square, reduction $62,600. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Hearing number 2020-008, uh, 38 Yalesville Square. Number 38 Yalesville Square, Mr. Chairman. The assessor's office is recommending no change to sustain the value, the market value of 62,600. And we are in agreement. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion for hearing number 2020. Dash yeah. 0038, Bellsville Square, no change, sustained 
value at $62,600. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that's the last one. Correct. I want to thank you, gentlemen, and thank you to Mr. Jackson and Mr. Fuller for their time uh, resolving this. I think um, yeah, it was fair all around. I thank, thank you for your time. Have a good evening. You too. Take care. Take care. <clears throat>
before, you know, later, and it just like the it fell off. I don't understand that, but I have the you know when I I went to the Carfax place in East Haven and took it, and they dropped the they took six thousand dollars off the value of the car at that time because for, of, because of the damage to the because it had been an accident where there was frame damage but the car was had been repaired yeah okay even with the car repaired it, it lost a lot of value and again i tried like you know they send me kia sends me a car oh come in and you know trade your car go, oh, yeah okay so i go in and they go Oh, well, we can't take it to Trina. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys said that once before. I didn't think it would change, but I got some kind of free goodie for doing it. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a senior citizen. I have a very limited income. I've, I have less than $1,000 a month from Social Security, and I, I'm not able to work. I have several health situations. I do need the car because I have a lot of doctor's appointments that I have to get back and forth to. But the it's like I said, I, I, I paid my ex a thousand dollars for it and, and it's you know, it's been painted with you know, half of the car is is not quite the same color as the other half because it's been you know, they only painted the one side that had been T boned. Um so Okay, well I think you know, um it's still a vehicle that you use it still has value to you. Uh, you may not be able to trade it in. You may not be able to sell it. But but it, it so it's not. Uh, and it's not an SUV, which for some reason you know the DMV what? says says no. It's a station wagon. It pretty much. It's not an SUV. Yeah. I mean, Edmonds has a has a range of value for the 2011 Kia sold between 1642 and 7277 yeah and i'm thinking mine's like closer to the low end well you know we we don't Edmonds is great but we use per state statutes the nada um you know it has a value to you you can't go replace it um so you know i think we'll give you some relief on it because of the Carfax is probably going to come back that it hasn't sustained a, a you know major accident, which really, you know, it's probably going to decrease the value. Do I hear any uh, recommendations or, or changes from the board? I make a motion to reduce the market value to four thousand dollars. Second. All in favor, aye. So that means at four thousand dollar market value. The assessed value will be twenty eight hundred dollars. That's what you will be taxed on. You'll be paying taxes on twenty eight hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. You will be nope. notified of this and you have to come every you will have to come back in twenty twenty two and repeat the same process to maintain this uh reduced value okay okay so it's going to be 2800 best thing with 2800 dollars of taxed uh value that you'll be taxed on so your taxes okay. will be yeah because i just pay paid the last the ones that i got so would i get a refund on that is that does it go retro or is that from this day forward mr, mr. Yeah. chairman this uh, this ruling would take effect for the tax bill that comes out in june this ruling takes effect for the next bill that comes up okay oh okay so that twenty eight hundred dollars uh in in uh assessed value times the mill rate will be your new tax tax bill okay but okay. In september of 2022 we have an actual motor vehicle uh, appeal uh in september the first is it the first week second second weekend in september on a saturday morning uh and you can bring the car we can take a look at it a closer closer examination so okay right. thank you All right. thank you
Okay. Have a good night. You too. Yeah. Bye. So let me give Mr. Shaw until eight o'clock to produce his copy of his registration. Okay. Other than that, we, we're we're done. Correct. We've covered everybody. Yeah. You want to recess the board for five minutes? Everybody can get up and stretch their legs and come back. Yeah. Why don't, why don't we recess? Uh, oh yeah. So it's seven forty-one. Why don't we? Why don't we uh, come back at um, seven fifty? That makes sense. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll uh, we'll pick it up at seven fifty. Hopefully. I get something from him and uh, at eight o'clock, right? Did I, I, did I say to him eight o'clock would be yes, the you time? Did. You said by eight o'clock. Okay. All right. Okay, I'd like to reconvene the meeting. It is now eight o'clock. Uh, Mr. Shaw, hearing number 2020-183. Um, has not responded via email uh, with a copy of his registration. Uh, please hold on. Let me let me check one more time. Okay, I, I have not received an email. Uh, from him. I think we had requested that by eight o'clock. Uh, I think we um, should hold off voting on it and table it until uh, our next meeting, which is Wednesday, first thing. Uh, hopefully, he either responds via email, calls the town's office, <laughs> somehow produces uh, a registration. Uh, and we will pick it back up Wednesday, first hearing, and we will vote on it then. Do I hear a motion uh, to that? Make a motion to um, review the case on Wednesday, first thing, and um, adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Okay, we'll do that. Hopefully he comes and does his thing. All right. Um, I think pretty good for the first time. And uh, I, 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 Shelly, how did it work out for you? Okay. It worked out great. Thank you. Okay. Beautiful. I, you know. I, I think I'm the one to blame for maybe the, the first lady couldn't get her microphone on. I realize now that I have the ability to shut people on and off individually, so I may have, I I may have been the culprit there, Mr. Chairman. I'll I'll do better next time. Yeah, no no problem. I think it went pretty good. I mean, I as long as I remember to turn the mic on. Um, and I, I think it was pretty good. You know, yeah, everybody yeah. seemed to uh, go along, um, got their say, and and uh, I think it went pretty smoothly. So I think it's. Uh, I think it's a little bit more, I think it goes more efficiently, believe it or not. Sometimes it does. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the people who uh, get their stuff, get get it to the point. I don't know. It's, yeah. It went smoothly. Yeah. This is Michael Schaff calling back. Oh. 
Uh, Michael, did you send the... Uh... Yes, I did, sir. I have not received it yet, so let me... Because uh... we, we basically have adjourned till Wednesday, uh, but... Okay, let me... Uh... I thought you told me to send it at eight o'clock, sir. Maybe I misunderstood you. Well, I w was hoping by eight o'clock, but uh, I'm now I'm waiting for it now to sh to come in. I haven't seen it yet, so so let me uh, reconvene the meeting. Okay, to uh, address. Um, Okay, I, I got a confirmation that it was sent, so, okay. Uh, case number 2020-183. Let me check my, my emails. Okay, so it did just come in. I put a, an older registration as well as my new application. I have to renew that registration this month, and I sent you the application. It still shows the same address, North Haven. So I'm just trying to get these. One is an old one, and one is a uh, renewal. The current one. I just want to show you that it's been there for a long time already in North Haven. It's not something that was changed. That's why I sent you an older registration. And okay. uh, and the current one, which is the which I have to pay this month for the application, it says their current you know renewal of current registration. Okay. Let me give me a, a couple of minutes. I'm trying to get it off your email into a form that I can do something with other than that. Just just hold on for a second. Yes, sir. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm having some. I'm trying to print it out and 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 put it on file, but it's coming out. So you gotta you gotta give me a minute here. That's all right, sir. Don, I'm not in any rush. To actually see. Uh, Mr. Jackson, what is, what is the do you know the license number for this plate that that in question? It it says it on the it says it on the registration, sir, on a, on a, uh, one of those. I, I I understand that, but okay, no, I I just wanted yes, to make sure that uh, because I could tell you that when I go to print it, it cuts off the. Uh... I do not have that information with the appeal packet. Chairman, no. But you, I don't think you would have it anyway because it's not registered in Wallingford. Just because I'm, you know, my name is on a property in Wallingford doesn't mean I have. Any registrations? I don't have any cars or anything else registered there. Okay, then um, hold on one more second because Okay, so this is this is what I this is what I see in the two documents. One is a renewal for license number T zero nine five one. 
Okay. It expires no. March 31st, 2021. And the address on it is 101 Scrub Oak Road, North Haven. Exactly right, sir. Then you you supplied a older copy. It says plate number 8495. Uh, they they switched plate numbers. I that 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 other the the old plate doesn't exist anymore. They changed numbers back a couple of years ago. Okay, so they it's sent me new plate. Again, Scrub Oak Road, North Haven. Yes, it's, it's the only place that I ever had a transport or registration. I, I, uh... But right on the on the new registration, the main reason I actually put the second one in there to show you the tax town number. So I don't understand how, how Wallingford got a notice that I had a transporter plate in Wallingford because it says on there, Tax Town 101. I, I don't know if you can see that. It's right in the, one of those boxes up on the top on the old registration. It's Tax Town 101. That's what North Haven is as far as uh, the motor vehicle department is concerned. They they go by those numbers, and the, the tax town for Wallingford is, uh, I have it on the front of my head, that uh, is. Uh, this this plate number, when I go to print it out, it's 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 too large, but this plate number is T0951. So, Mr. Jackson, what do you uh, recommend or have to say? Uh, are, is, is this are we on the right track here with what we're? I, I have no objection to whatever the board decides to do. I mean, we picked it up, I believe, because we, we've we observed uh, vehicles stored at that residence or parked there, you know, you know, in the, in, in the Wallingford, at the Wallingford residence with the transporter plate on it. And uh, that's the basis for the assessment. Now, if the board deems it, you know, that the, that the plate belongs to North Haven, that's, I have no objection to that. Okay. Um, do I do I hear a recommendation from the board? I make a recommendation based on the evidence that you have there, Tom, and the uh, you know the transporter number uh, and the previous registration, the renewal, and current uh, that we. We can't put a value on something that's not um, being, you know, that is that residence or an asset in Wallingford. Mr. Chairman, if I could make it simple. Sure. So just to give a, make a motion to cancel the account. Okay. Can I hear that motion? I make a motion to cancel the account. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much for your uh, efforts tonight, Mr. Schaff, and and. Um, okay. I I thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, Shelby, where can I? Who should I forward this email to with this stuff? Assessor at WallingfordCT.gov, sir. Okay, I'll forward his whole email to you. I just I just couldn't get it printed out correctly for some reason. So no problem. Okay. Uh, now do I hear a motion for adjournment? Make a motion to adjournment. Mr. Avery, take your mute off so I can hear you in jubilation. Second, thank you. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. See you six o'clock on Wednesday night. Hey, thank you. I'm going to close the meeting now. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.